All right, welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to prepare a print for printing on Canvas, specifically for creating a, what's called a gallery wrap. A gallery wrap is where the canvas is stretched on a thick stretcher bar and a portion of the image wraps around the side. Now, when you hang it on the wall, you'll see image on the sides as well as on the front. The problem with the gallery wrap is you lose a portion of your image to wrap around those thick stretcher bars. That's why Jenny and Fractals has the unique gallery wrap feature to extend the edges or stretch the edges so that you don't lose any of your important image details. Let me show you how to use it. I'm going to use a preset to get started. Let's say I'm going to print on a Canon printer and I'm going to print on canvas. So I'm going to go to the preset category called Canon Canvas. Then all I do is simply select the size that I'm going to print. Let's say I want to do a 16 by 20 gallery wrap. So I select 16 by 20. It's going to select the crop tool for me automatically. Oftentimes the aspect ratio of your original photo doesn't match the aspect ratio of the paper size you want to print on. That's very common. So I need to crop my photo to make it fit. So I'm just going to use the crop overlay to adjust my photo until I get the composition that I find pleasing. Once I have that set, I'll press the apply button. You notice after I hit the apply button that we see the gallery wrap wings automatically applied. These are applied because the gallery wrap filter is turned on. And if we turn this on, we can make adjustments to it as necessary. It's going to default to a two inch thickness. That's perfect for the inch and a half stretcher bars that are commonly used for gallery wraps. But you'll want to check with your service provider as to what thickness you should set for this option. The other thing you can do is you can change the method that is used for that stretched region. The most basic option is called reflect, where it's simply going to take the exact width of the uh, stretcher bar and it's going to reflect it on the other side. There are times where that could look odd, especially if you happen to have a piece of detail like a person's arm going off the photo, their arm is going to bend the opposite direction. So there's some other options. You can also do reflect soft, which will reflect, but it also softens the edge or you can use a stretch method, which will stretch the edge instead, and also a stretch software it will stretch it and blur it a little bit. The method you use is kind of up to you, whatever's gonna look best for your photo. For this photo, I'm gonna use the reflect soft method. I don't mind it reflecting, but I do like it being a little bit softer. You also have the option to add a color overlay to that area as well. So if you don't want to see image on the outside, you could set a solid color or even darken or lighten the photo using that overlay technique. So for example, if I wanted to have just a black edge, I can grab this opacity slider and turn it all the way up with black. And now I'll have black edges on the outside of my canvas, or I could even pick a color. Maybe I want to pick one of the dark green colors like the trees. I can just click on the color well use my system's color sampling tool to grab one of those dark green colors. And now the gallery wrap edge will be filled with that green color instead. When you're ready, just hit the done button. Your image will be cropped and resized to the correct size and have the gallery wrap edges added to it, ready for you to send to your lab. Thanks for watching.